Just thousand cities. Yes. They are mentioning to yes, you. Yes, We already reached there all. No. Yes. We did, we did, we did, we did reach there, they come. Yes. It's, it's left to how Ghanaians will keep this seat. Oh, okay. You know this material. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how like people behave. Are... No. You know. Yes, nice meeting you all. Ghana people. See me. I see you. We are enjoying the train. Okay. His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado. Welcome, sir. The board chairman of SNET, media advisor to the president and officials of the presidency, the Minister for Railways Development and Member of Parliament for Hohoi, Eastern Regional Minister, Deputy Minister for Railway Development, a Member of Parliament for Asante Achim South, Metropolitan Chief Executive of Tema Metropolitan Assembly and other MMDCEs, the Board Chair of the Ghana Revenue Authority and Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Railway Development Authority, the Chief Director of the Ministry of Railway Development, the Managing Director, Management and Staff of the Ghana Railway Company Limited, representatives of the contractors, the Tema Makralu, the Acting President of the Tema Traditional Council, Nia Jiti Agbo, the Chief of Athenia, Nene Tete, Afutu III, and the representative of the Kunlo of Manya Krobo and other traditional rulers, the Indian High Commissioner and members of the Diplomatic Corps, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a long time coming, but I'm very happy to be here today to commission a project of transformative significance to our homeland Ghana, the Tema Mpakadine Railway Line. This historic achievement, the first ever standard gauge railway line in Ghana, symbolizes the bold strides we're making 
to modernize our transport infrastructure and drive the economic growth of our nation. This project is proof any more were needed of what is possible when vision, commitment, and hard work align. As president, I pledge to prioritize the revival and expansion of gun and today we take another giant leap forward in fulfilling that promise. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017, the Kufuado government has placed railway development at the forefront of its agenda, recognizing it as a powerful catalyst for industrialization, trade facilitation, and socioeconomic transformation. Railways are acknowledged globally as the most efficient mode for transporting bulk goods and large numbers of people. They are a linchpin for reducing the cost of doing business and fostering regional integration. This conviction led to the establishment of the Ministry of Railways Development in 2017, tasked with the singular mission of designing and executing policies and programs to build a modern railway system. The Ministry has worked assiduously to develop an integrated network of goods and people, facilitates trade, and accelerates industrial and economic growth. Over the past seven and a half years, we've made substantial progress in reviving Ghana's railway infrastructure. Let me highlight some key achievements. One, the Western Line Rehabilitation. In 2017, we successfully rehabilitated the 66 kilometer narrow gauge section of the Western Line from Kujokrum to Takwa to enhance manganese haulage. Two, standard gauge development. In 2018, we initiated the construction of a 22 kilometer standard gauge section between Kojokuru and Mansur. This marked the beginning of our trans transition to a modern railway system. Three, further extensions. In 2020, we secured funding to extend the Western Rail Line from Mansur to Huni Valley, covering 78 kilometers and linking directly to the port of Takradi. This will provide seamless connectivity for the transportations of minerals, bulk cargo, and other goods. And four, the Kumasi Rail Network. We're financing the development of a six kilometer standard gauge line in Kumasi from Adum to Kasi, expanding further the Western Line's capacity. Today, however, we gather to celebrate the completion of the Teman Pakadai Railway Line, a vital component of Ghana's first multimodal transport system. Ladies and gentlemen, this 100 kilometer railway line complements a visionary transport system that integrates rail, road, and inland water transport, connecting Temaport to Bupe Port via the Volta Lake. This project, conceived under the administration of His Excellency, President John Ajakun Kufo, is a good example of continuity in governance for national development. By reducing our reliance on road transport for long distance freight and passenger movement, this railway line will address several critical challenges that have hindered Ghana's development. It will decongest significantly our roads, alleviating the heavy burden that has led to severe traffic congestion, the rapid deterioration of road infrastructure, and an alarming increase in road accidents. Furthermore, it will enhance the efficiency of port operations at Tema, minimizing vessel waiting times and container dwelling times, thereby boosting the competitiveness of our ports. The integration of rail and inland water transport 
will also transform trade in agriculture by lowering freight costs, increasing the viability of agricultural enterprises along the Volta Lake, and facilitating the seamless movement of goods and produce to and from northern Ghana and neighboring landlocked countries. This railway line, therefore, stands as a transformative intervention to address these pressing issues comprehensively. When fully operational, the multimodal network will link the Tema port to the north-south transport corridor, spanning some 400 kilometers. It will open new opportunities for the movement of fuel, cement, containerized cargo, and agricultural produce. The economic and social benefits of this project are far-reaching and transformative. By alleviating the pressure on our road network, it will extend the lifeline of critical routes, including those along the Eastern Corridor, while simultaneously lowering the cost of transporting bulk goods, agricultural produce, and containers, thereby enhancing business competitiveness. It will offer a reliable and cost-effective transportation alternative for, for passengers in areas currently underserved by road networks, ensuring greater accessibility and convenience. Moreover, the construction, operation, and maintenance of this railway line will generate significant direct and indirect employment opportunities, uplifting countless Ghanaian households. This project is far more than just a railway line. It is a lifeline that will empower communities, invigorate businesses, and strengthen industries, ultimately making Ghana more resilient and prosperous. Ladies and gentlemen, this ambitious endeavor, financed through an India Exim Bank credit, facility at a cost of some 447 million United States dollars is a proud achievement for all Ghanaians. However, its success depends not just on its construction, but also on our collective commitment to safeguard and maintain this critical national asset. I extend the sincere appreciation of the government and people of Ghana to the Indian government and her people for, its, for her contribution to the realization of this project. The relations between India and Ghana are excellent, and long may they continue. I extend my deepest gratitude to the chiefs and people of the communities affected by this project. Your patience, cooperation, and sacrifices have been invaluable. As the ultimate beneficiaries of this infrastructure, I urge you to take pride in it and protect it for generations to come. The Tema Pakadai Railway Line is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Guided by our 2020 Revised Railway Master Plan, we'll continue to expand the reach of Ghana's railway network to unlock the full potential of our economy. This is a vision that will require sustained investment, partnerships, an unwavering national will. As I commission this landmark project today, I'm filled with hope for the brighter future that lies ahead for our future. Together, let us continue to build an efficient, interconnected, and prosperous Ghana. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, Nime, Nananum, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the Tema Pakadai Railway Line duly commissioned. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.